Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this the big homie, Agent Link, aka the gaming grandfather, just not your grandfather, aka Play All Consoles. And today will be a different type of stream. Uh, I say this, um, Doing this stream personally for me, this is going to be a tech demo. I am going to be going over the setup of my streaming uh, setup, I guess. Um, mostly noting in real time uh, issues and problems that I'm having so that I can later review this, this VOD and troubleshoot to give a better stream experience for the viewers. So what I will be doing, me, um, all right, make sure everything is working okay. All right, first thing I will be going over is a very rough diagram of my setup took me actually a couple hours to make it as shitty as it looks um i do this because i wanted to make sure i don't miss anything when going over it um also to highlight one of the first problems i know i have which is an audio problem uh we'll get to that in a moment uh afterwards i will be doing what would be probably the most trying of uh, my my test and that is switching consoles switching game consoles on stream without crashing OBS and my stream all at once so what we're gonna first get into is the diagram of my setup again it's very rough All right, did this in Paint 3D. Uh, as complicated as this is, this is a um, as close to an accurate representation of what I have going on currently. Um, on the far left here, and I'll zoom in, are all my game systems, uh, which would be source signals, not listed, something I have not included in my game system I have is a Sega Saturn I forgot I have it here and not at my mom's crib so it is not hooked up I don't plan on hooking up anytime soon but I do have a spot for it actually okay so we're gonna first go over what I am hooked up hooked up at um make sure I'm still okay we're still good up top, I have listed here uh, my PS4, PS5. Those are hooked up directly to my TV, and therefore I stream directly from them, not through OBS. 
so I don't have any overlays or any of that unless I decide to use light stream, which might be something I do. In fact, let me we'll add that right now. possibly use light stream if I stream from those um, just to have the overlays and the alerts I still have to look out how, how it works and how all that goes together um, next up we have the systems that are connected directly to my uh, audio video receiver my stereo receiver uh, my series X 1x Wii U and the switch uh, those will feed those feed into my stereo receiver and then from a stereo receiver I actually output to the TV on one input and to the capture card on another um, My AV receiver is a little tricky though because in order to get sound on stream I have to actually Switch on the stereo receiver select the input and then turn the receiver off uh, during this time, I cannot be, I cannot have the c capture card activated in OBS. That is one of the things I notice. Anytime I switch uh, HDMI inputs, I'm assuming it's a, a voltage spike or something. Uh, I get a crash in OBS um, to where I can only output audio. I can't switch video, and I have to shut down OBS, which would kill the stream. So, uh, actually, we'll get to the switching part in just a moment. Uh, the next group I have, I have, let's zoom in here. I have the original Xbox, the Duke, uh, my PS2, and an Xbox 360. Oh, wait, you know what? Let me go back. Let me go back. Um, with these six systems up here, the four, the five, the PS4, PS5, Series X, oh, commercial. The VOD should still go, keep going. Um, the PS4, PS5, Series X, One X, Wii U, and Switch are connected to their various destinations directly by an HDMI cable. No splitters or anything like that between them, with the exception of the AV receiver. Uh, that being said, the next group I was going to focus on, the original Xbox, the Duke, the PS2, and the Xbox 360. Uh, for those three systems, I am connected to a switch box using component video, audio video cables. That would be the red, blue, green, along with the audio red and white. Uh, they each go to the switch box and from the switch box to a uh, component video to HDMI switch box. Uh, theoretically, as long as the switch box doesn't change I can switch these three systems without having to deactivate OBS um, we'll get to that in a moment next group of four I have a my retro systems uh, Nintendo GameCube PS1 Dreamcast and N64 uh, they are using the composite uh, cables, which would be the yellow video and the audio red whites. They go to a composite switch box, uh, four in, one out. Uh, the output then goes to a composite to HDMI switch box, similar to the component to HDMI switch box, um, which converts it all into an HDMI cable. Um, I'll get to this dotted line here in a moment. And then finally, the last two, I have a Wii, which I actually have an adapter. I don't have it listed. I should probably list it. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. Can't type for shit. No. 
fits in just right. Blurry as fuck, but oh well. So the Wii, along with its HDMI adapter and the PS3, which has a native HDMI port, and it's a PS3, the it's a day one edition. Maybe we should put that in case anyone has a question. I don't know how the slim PS3s or any of those work, but uh, I have the original with the. Oh, Jay Jones, Melalodity. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, you have to pardon me, it's gonna be a very boring stream. I'm doing a tech demo. Let me throw some shout outs real quick. There we go. Um, I'm actually doing a stream for myself. I'm doing a tech demo. I'm running over my setup because I know I have problems with it. So I figured I'd do this video, catch the problems in real time, and then when I review it, I can work out exactly what is wrong with my shit. Mel! Thank you. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. Um, I hope y'all have been having a nice day. Looking at uh, all the alerts going off. Thank you very much. You're actually helping me test out one of the issues I have. Um, hope you don't mind. I'm going to go on with the tech demo. If you, if you start to fall asleep, I will not get mad. Oh, thank you. Mel is always so sweet when she isn't trying to lock me in her basement. Um, let me, yes, yes, I know, <laughs> yes, I know you love me, I know you'd love for me to be the baby daddy, get rich, and take care of all the kids, so you don't have to work no more, but I still love you regardless, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm derailing my, my, my VOD already, um, Mel can't be trusted, what, you got a split personality disorder? <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness um all right back to the boring shit uh, <laughs> uh over here i have listed um an hdmi splitter uh four inputs two outs uh Three of the inputs are taken up, as you can see here, by the composite to HDMI switch box, the Wii with the HDMI adapter, and the PS3. The dotted line is if I wish to switch my component HDMI switch box from my stereo receiver directly to the splitter. Um, I would only do that if I get something else that would take advantage of the features of my receiver, which I don't have right now. Um, <laughs> I'll get pizza when you send it to me, Mel. I'm serious. I'm, I'm, you know, you start talking pizza, I'm gonna get hungry again. I wasn't even thinking food until you mentioned pizza. All right. Um, all right. So, so. There are my six stereo inputs along with the inputs to the TV. Um, oh, I forgot one. Okay. My HDMI splitter out. It has two outputs. One is going to the stereo, which eventually outputs to the capture card. Uh, the second one is going directly to the TV. The reason for that is the, in particular, the PlayStation 3 has a, I believe the initials are HDCP. How do I manage my wires, Mr. Jones, Miss Jones, whichever it is, you don't want to know. I have, you know what? I think I, I might post to Twitter later a picture of the back behind my TV. Um, it is. Mr. Okay, okay. Uh, it is a mess. Also, if I zoom out a little bit, 
Uh, everything from the TV left, with the exception of the capture card, is in my living room. Oh yeah. Well, I have some cable management, but within the cable management, yeah, it's 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 a hot mess. Uh, but yeah, everything, the TV, the receiver, the splitters, switch boxes, and systems are in the living room. The capture card and my PC are all in my bedroom, so that's a long run. Um, I was explaining the splitter. Basically, my splitter, the reason I have this particular one, uh, anyone who's interested, hit me up on Twitter, I'll give you the name of it. Um, the PlayStation 3 has a copy protection protocol. Uh... Actually, most of the newer system have one, uh, notably the PS4, PS5. Um, but in those systems, you can turn that off. The PS3, you are not able to. So if I were to go directly from the uh, from the PS3 to the stereo receiver, as soon as I have the capture card hooked up. I get an error and I get no display on my TV. The splitter allows me to finish the HDCP handshake connection, uh, which satisfies the requirement for the PS3 to, to broadcast its video. Um, at the same time, the secondary output from the splitter can go to the stereo receiver and from there to the capture card which allows me to stream um, from there the capture card hooks into the beefy PC I call it because it's a, it's a beast uh, and connects with OBS studios um, within OBS studios a couple of the plugins I have are the sound alerts and the alert box that plays the sounds when someone cheers, bits, subscribes, new uh, first time chatter. The problem I have is that within the PC, and I couldn't draw it any better, I have the direct output to my display monitor and my headset, which I can listen to. The headset gives me all the sounds going on within the PC. So if I trigger a sound alert from the dashboard or the alert box from the dashboard, I will hear it go off and that will actually transport, uh, go through OBS and go through Twitch over here and make it so everyone else can hear it. However, if we go over here, if a viewer comes in uh, like uh, Mel just subscribed it'll trigger the alert box or sound alerts from the source which is out in the web which will go through Twitch in this case or any other stri uh, streaming site you use and then it will go back to the viewers or to my monitoring device which is my cell phone um, and will not come back to the PC therefore not back to my headset and therefore if someone cheers or anything like that and I don't have a monitor playing I will not hear the sound and not be alerted to whatever event is going on the only way I can do, um, get around that is uh, for my monitor if I go through my viewers my browser um, then I can hear it when it comes back like all the rest of the viewers unfortunately what happens which is happening right now I don't think the viewers can hear it but when I turn the volume up on my viewers on my uh, desktop I get a hell of an echo uh, I have it turned down very low so the only echo I'm getting is from my voice so if you hear me kind of stop and reset what I'm saying that's because I'm getting confused because of the echo coming back from my headset to Twitch back to my uh, headphones. So that is one of the problems I'm having. I would like to get the sounds from up here, the sources that all the viewers hear. Uh, broadcast mixer, at the moment, I do not. But I thank you for that. In fact, 
I will put that on here. I'm assuming that would uh, eliminate the echo if I were to use that. Actually, let me make that font a little bigger. I appreciate you uh, throwing the input in there though, Mr. Jones. Believe it or not, I am not an expert at this. I'm about to put Mr. Jones in here. said internally let's see if we were to draw a line like right here I don't know if that will show up on the screen waiting for my my display to catch up all right if I draw that line that's within my place and out on the internet as long as I don't try to incorporate this viewer here into the into my browsers in my place I don't get an echo but then again like I said I don't get the alerts as they come from the viewers I can only hear it when my cell phone goes off that's what I'm using as my monitor right now which is giving me another echo um, but that is I thank you for that that is something I will have to consider um, other than that, hold on one second. I have to keep an eye. Now that I'm an affiliate, I get commercials. And while it won't affect the recorded VOD later, those who are watching right now will get one hell of a rude surprise in 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Okay. So, that is the main problem I can do without having to worry about crashing my OBS. Go XLR or Go XLR Mini. Okay. I will, I will. Because you're saying it in the chat, when I go to look at the VOD later, it will be up there. So thank you very much. I will, I will have that marked. Actually, you know what? Might as well put it right here. next part of what I'm going to test is going to concern actually wait let me this part of the setup where I will be trying to switch between systems while still streaming without having to shut my stream down uh, like I said, one of the things, and I suspect it's a voltage spike, if I have the capture card activated in OBS and I attempt to either swap systems uh, via the, the receiver, the stereo receiver, swap the, the on my composite uh, switch box I have an option for outputting in 720 or 1080p if I attempt to switch that while I'm live it'll crash the, the capture card um, and I believe if I attempt to switch inputs on the HDMI splitter while everything is live it'll crash the capture card uh, in addition to swap swapping outputs on the receiver while the capture card is live Again, with the way my receiver is, if it is on, I can get video to stream, but in order to get audio, I have to actually turn it off. Uh, turning it on or off, again, the capture card has to be deactivated or else it'll crash. 
Um, so we are going to go into the living room. Let's, I don't know. I'm getting a gurgling sound from the background music. I don't know if that's translating through the stream. Uh, Mr. Jones, if you're still there, if you can give me any feedback on what the audio you hear, greatly appreciate it. All right. Going into the front room now. on the other screen that shouldn't interfere with my does it all right so we'll go to the starting screen i'm gonna mute the uh music currently at the moment you don't hear anything you don't even hear music let me throw that back on real quick Hear any music now? This will probably be another problem I have. Having background music playing. Uh, I threw this option on for times when I'm doing streams. Okay. The music's probably too loud now. But you do hear background music. I got a browser source playing a track off of YouTube, some DMCA free music. All right, music's good. Uh, like I said, I have that for, I, I did a couple of uh, 3D modeling streams where I don't have any uh, background music like from video games playing. So I, I added that asset to my scenes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill that on this stream or on this scene. And we're going to go to my gameplay screen, uh, which currently I have my Nintendo Switch on as a background. So I'm going to activate and turn that. And we have the Nintendo Switch up and running. Make sure. All right. It's coming through on my screen. I know what we're going to do. We're going to turn off the YouTube music there. All right, I'm still getting some kind of growling. Yeah, so that's the static I was, I'm hearing. That's, that, I'm wondering about that. Cause I'm hearing it now, even I turned the music off, I'm hearing the static on the, on my switch. Or should I say through the OBS? That's concerning. I don't have the volume all the way up. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, do you hear the music for the Nintendo Switch playing right now? Because I hear it, and I do hear some crackling. Let me, I'll turn it up a little. I had turned it down before because someone said the music was overpowering my voice. Hard to believe. It's also very low music on this starting screen. Um, this will be a problem I have to address again. No static sounds? Okay. I hear it on my end, but you don't hear it. That's, that's good enough. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to deactivate. We're going we're gonna to throw on a game swap screen real quick. Deactivate my capture card in which case we are going to turn on my stereo receiver turn on my HDMI switch box music to voice audio is good too thank you very much I appreciate that um, if you get bored I, I don't mind you leaving again this is a stream for me but if you're gonna stay I appreciate you very much for giving me the the feedback uh live feedback is great all right so now that the stereo is on i do not have it on stream 
we're going to switch on over on the stereo receiver to my switch box. Turn the receiver off. Yes, it does. It helps immensely. I'm, I'm glad you understand. You know you've been there. All right. First system we're going to try to put up on screen is my Sega Saturn. Or not Saturn, Dreamcast. So before I turn that on, make sure the switch box. There's no signal. Oh, you know what? I have two switch boxes. That's what it was. All right. So on my TV, I have the screen for my Sega Saturn. So we're going to activate the um, capture card. Get rid of my game swap screen. And there is the start screen for the Saturn. Or no, I keep saying Saturn. Uh, the Dreamcast. Because the it's either the CMOS battery or the VMUs I have plugged in are dead. Alright. So now I have video. I'm going to check audio. One of the things I noticed... Oh, yeah, the, the, this looks blurry as fuck. It is currently broadcasting in 720p. Or um, my TV says it's getting a 1080p signal. It's obviously not 1080p. I have volume. Man, that's loud as fuck. Let's turn that down. All right. But I do have audio and video. Actually, I had to check my phone. All right. My phone is not in stereo, but I do hear the game music coming through the stream. Uh, I don't know if it's in stereo for the viewers, but the Dreamcast checks out. So, at this point, I don't have to shut any of the main stuff off. I can do a direct switch over. So, the next one we will be test testing out. And, uh, we'll be going to an oldie but goodie. So, let's see how this works out. Hopefully, I haven't crashed nothing. Ah, uh, game audio a little high. Yeah, I turned that down. Got the PlayStation One. I oh, I'd appreciate it. That's cool. That's cool. Um, a lot of the audio, like I said, the way I got my monitoring, I can't tell exactly what the viewers are hearing. Um. Like you said, the possibly an audio mixer of some sort might be able to give me a better feel for it. Um, right now, I have the PS1 booted up on my headphones. I have uh, stereo sound. Uh, the reason I make note of that is because the switch box that I'm using for my retro systems... Not the HDMI switch box, but the other switch box. Uh, it's an AV switch box. Four in, one out. That popping you hear is me popping my knuckles, by the way. I do that. Um, I think that the AV switch box is dying. Uh, when I tested yesterday, I did notice that, at least with the Dreamcast, at first I only had audio out of one ear. And if I move the box, I'll have audio and video cut in and out. Even. 
like what Lenny's gonna show next. If Kane gets to him, Pink Lenny's gonna show up in pieces. All over Illinois. We'll turn that back down. So what is it Lenny knows? Just fine. Apparently the systems all output at different volume levels. That is that is good to know. If I swap systems, I'll have to adjust the audio in stream, but that's good. That's 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 good to know. So while that is playing, we're going to switch directly on over again because I'm switching at the AV box and not an HDMI source. I don't have to deactivate my uh, my capture card. So we're going to pop over to the next one and we're going to turn this bad boy on. And let's see if I got a signal. There we go. The little green AV NTSC that is actually coming from the uh, composite to AV or composite to HDMI switch. But here we have, hey, awesome killer. Welcome for coming on through, Lego. Hey, what's going on? Hey, let me throw y'all guys some shout outs. Uh, welcome to the stream. It's a different stream than normal. I'm doing a tech demo, working out some issues, trying to make sure I don't crash anything. Oh, thanks for the biddies. Awesome. You didn't have to do that, man. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you guys just being here. Uh, Mr. Jones over here is giving me some feedback on my audio as I do this. Let me, let me throw some shout outs here for, for, uh oh, commercial. That's uh, oh great. Keyboard isn't, my wireless keyboard ain't working now. Go back to the other room. Loud ass fucking commercials. You guys are probably back now at the uh, keep forgetting about the damn commercials. It's every every 28 minutes almost on the fucking dot. It's worse than TV. All right. So where we left off here is testing the GameCube. As far as I know, oh, commercial still running on my phone. You guys probably I don't know if you guys are back yet or not. All right, all right. Now you guys should be back. All right. So, according to my headphones, I have stereo sound coming from my GameCube. Video is good. Uh, Mr. Jones said that the audio is fine, although it is very low because it's on this screen. Problem I do have with my GameCube, though, because it is old. It is an actual, I don't want to say day one, but it's one of the first run GameCubes. has the... Um, optional port if you ever could find those uh component video cables uh anyway that's beside the point the reason i'm saying about it, its age and it being old the motor for the disk drive is not functioning correctly and i couldn't get it to work yesterday this has been an ongoing problem for a couple years but basically before in order to get games to go i can't see the screen right now since i'm over by the gamecube is i would have to open it Manually spin the disc and then close it and hope that the disc would uh, read. And yesterday I kept getting. Where is it at? I keep getting that. No disc. So while the GameCube is running, I cannot read any games. It's not too big a deal because I have a Wii which plays GameCube games as well 
The main reason I would want the GameCube running is because I have a Game Boy adapter that allows me to play Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games, which would allow me to add another system to my streaming repertoire, so to speak. But that is an internal issue. I'm probably one day have to crack open this thing and manually fix it myself. Yep, yep, yep. Brought, brought out the retro systems. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, like I said, I also have a Sega Saturn currently here at my crib. Um, I also would like to be able to get that hooked up eventually, but I don't have any real games I want to play. Um, for the retro systems, we have one more. And yesterday I had a problem with it. A major problem. So... We're going to see how it looks when I turn it on stream. So we're going to switch over the AV box to the last retro game system. Oh, that's the... Oh, yeah, that... On the PlayStation 1, I've noticed that is also a problem. Uh, it boots up and it loads up, but then it hangs up. Which is probably a, a motor issue as well. Not a big deal. PS2 and PS3, or the PS3 I have can both play backwards compatible. Uh, the PS1 is basically just in case I want to be a little naughty and use my Game Shark. All right. The last system we are going to try but that I had a problem with yesterday is my Nintendo 64. Now, I have turned on the Nintendo 64. The power light is on, but I get no signal whatsoever um this is something i'm going to delve really deep into because at first i thought it was the av box but if i swap outputs or swap inputs the 64 still doesn't come on i have a second nintendo 64 which i swapped in place didn't come on i swapped cables the only thing i didn't swap is the power supply I will probably have to do that. If I can't do that, that means I have a, a compatibility, either a compatibility issue or I have two bad N64s, which would suck. Because uh, one of the reasons I would want to have it is to run through like the original Zelda Ocarina of Time. Everyone's playing the new Switch version, this and that. Now I want to play the old school cartridge one. Um, that and some other games you can't get on the Switch eShop. Um, hydrate here real quick. Yes, yes, I am a big Zelda fan. One of my nicknames is Agent Link, obviously. Couldn't use it because everyone else in their, in, in, in their brother has Link as some kind of nickname. So... From my retro games, uh, the 64 has a critical issue. Uh, the GameCube boots up, has a hardware issue. Uh, PlayStation 1 boots up, can run, but it also has a hardware issue. And my Dreamcast, I haven't play, tried playing the game, but it doesn't seem to hang up. In fact, if I switch over to it, it should still be playing its starting screen demo and wait for it to come on up yes and with it coming up uh, because we adjusted the volume the volume for the Dreamcast is probably a little low if you could confirm that for me Mr. Jones I would greatly appreciate it Yeah, okay. So, confirmation, just to, just for my own personal record, or for me personally when I review the VOD, Dream, Dreamcast plays at a higher volume, so I had to keep that up to deal. Now, looking at it on my computer monitor, it doesn't look as bad. Of course, my computer monitor is a 19-inch monitor, and the window is probably about 8 inches. Looking at it on a... 
55 inch 4k tv looks like crap okay so we're gonna power down these systems and we're gonna probably get a we're gonna get a blue screen again because the av switch box is currently on or the av the composite to hdmi switch is currently powered on which is funny because it is powered by a uc usb uh plug and directly sitting above the plug is my xbox series x which is powering the adapter to run all my retro systems anyway so speaking of which we are going to go to the next system so what we're going to do jump back over to obs we are going to throw up my game swap screen we're going to deactivate my capture card we're going to turn on the we're going to turn off the hdmi switch box or oh, actually you know what no 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 we're going to leave that on because we are going to turn on my Nintendo Wii. Switch the box over. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the applause. All right. So get this to come up on my TV first. All right. Now we got it up on the TV. We're going to reactivate capture card. I guess I should make a note. When swapping systems, do not activate the card right away. It will be approximately, I say, wait 10 seconds. All right. That sounded a little loud. So if we take this off. We have the screen for N Nintendo Wii, the first one. Um, I don't know if you heard that opening intro there, Mr. Jones, but that did sound a little loud to me. I'd give me your opinion. So far, have not crashed OBS. I still got to... Okay. So we'll make a mental note. The Wii comes in louder than even the Dreamcast. So we'll just turn it down a bit more. All right. We're not going to turn a game on just because I don't feel like digging out a Wiimote. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw the swap screen back up, deactivate the capture card. I'm going to turn off the Wii. And we're going to go with the next system. And I'm going to actually be a little daring. We're going to have the switch box switched over. We're going to reactivate the card. This is, this is the dangerous part because I haven't turned the game system on, the next game system on yet. All right, so now we're going to turn it on, see if it boots up or if it crashes shit. Ooh, this may not be good. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, we're gonna deactivate the 
Gabe card for the moment. I'm still. I, I haven't. I don't think I've crashed OBS yet, but. Hmm. This is. This is concerning. Concerning. I'm not getting a video signal whatsoever, like on my TV. Wait, wait. All right. Moment of truth. See if I've got things going, if anything's crashed. Activate the capture card. Take off the game sw swap screen. Boom. I have my PlayStation 3, which was the, the most troubling because of the copy protection, the HDCP protocols. Uh, we have no volume, so we are going to actually power up a, a game on it, because I have a controller actually handy. A lot of people don't like Final Fantasy 13, but I thought it was a very pretty game when the PS3 came out. So, uh, do a volume check on it and see if it comes in. Even louder. I have a, I have a splash screen. Light me up the smoke. Getting all nervous. Okay, volume starts off low. I remember the intro. We're gonna see. How loud it gets when it crescendos. Again, because I am getting audio directly from my PC and not from the stream, I cannot tell how loud the volume on the stream is. I thought this used to look so pretty, 1080p. I only got a 4K TV like maybe a year ago. But I thought this game was so fucking pretty. It still is. Pretty game, very great soundtrack. A lot of people had issues with the gameplay because it was a little or very linear in the beginning of the game. I am noticing that the screen on my computer is brighter than the screen on my TV. It's very pretty on, yes it is. And it's a very bright game. Like it goes from dark to bright. Like, no, like well right here. It, 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 some games look good when they're bright and bad when they're dark. And some games look good when they're dark and bad when they're bright. But this one was good both ways all the way around. Uh, Mr. Jones, if you don't mind, can I get an audio check? Uh, how's the audio sounding? Audio versus my voice in particular. Hair low. Okay. So, you say it's a little low. It's, it, it, it outputs lower than the Wii. And probably lower than the Dreamcast. Well, obviously lower than the Dreamcast. Well, it's probably the same volume as the Dreamcast. Either way. Its output volume is lower than the Wii. The Wii has the Wii is my highest volume offender. Vo game audio to voice is good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. One of the things I have to be careful is that since I have a headset on, um... If I have the volume on the headset turned up, that's another volume control. I would uh, start speaking louder just because I'm trying to hear myself over the thing. We're going to load this up real quick. 
get a cut scene here just so I can check out the volume I believe yesterday when I tested this I had it set that the, the PlayStation 3 before I had it hooked up to the switch box oh yeah that's that's always a worry that's why I asked for the volume uh, the audio check like I said hopefully the 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 uh, audio mixing board thing you t suggested to me would um alleviate my f alleviate my fears on that we're gonna get that but uh, yeah, yesterday when I was doing this, I noticed that I was getting, my audio signal wasn't completely going through because I had it set to 7.1 because uh, previously it was hooked up directly to my last stereo receiver. Since I am now going through a switch box that only has two channels instead of seven, I had to switch it so that way the music, the game effects, and the voices all came through. Uh, when I tested it yesterday, it was like, I, uh, before even going on stream, I was noticing that in the headphones, I would get the vocals, and through the stereo, I would get the music, but I wouldn't get both. So, when I reset it, I can hear the footsteps, I can hear the save thing open up. And I should be able to hear vocals, as long as I didn't change nothing from yesterday. Hooked up to the computer, and I'm in the living room in front of the TV. So, anyway. The PS3 is good. Haven't crashed OBS yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut you down. All right. So I can shut this down without having to deactivate the capture card. All right. So my next group is going to be the systems that use component video. Oh, I thought I turned that off. There it goes. All right. For this, we will deactivate the capture card. So we're going to throw the game swap on, deactivate. And this is where I have to turn on my stereo receiver to switch to another input. Since I won't be using that anymore, I can turn that off. All right. So for this, I'm actually going to turn a system on first. I got to turn on my component switch box. And all right. From there, we will activate the video card or the capture card. And we will get rid of the game swap screen. Oop. And boom. We have my Xbox 360 up. We're going to go ahead and boot up a game. For some reason, it isn't reading the game. Uh oh. What do you mean the disc is unreadable? Oh shoot. Let's pop it out and actually I should be able to cords in the way. Move those out of the way. Oh got stuff falling all over the place. Trying to destroy my shit. Okay, let's throw. Drive on the uh, 360 starting to go. Doesn't want to go in and out all by itself.
and we're booting. So we're going to do a volume check on this. Classic. Last Halo I actually played before Infinite, and I never did finish this game. Before Infinite came out, I actually wanted to do a run through of Halos 1 through 4, or actually 1 through 5, but the Xbox One and the Series X do not play 360 games. Or they don't play all 360 games, they don't play any of the Halos. All right. Volume does sound a little low on my end. You're the same. You wanted to go through do the whole run through. Now this sounds very low, but this could be just the the opening screen. It I think it was low to start with. Again, the 1080p looked beautiful back in the day. After okay. Ah, you know what? I have no game audio, and I know why. Hold on. Exit the game. I know why. I forgot to do something crucial. Uh, deactivate the card. Forgot to turn off the stereo receiver. If the stereo receiver is on, I get no audio to my capture card. Alright, reactivate the capture card. Got the 360 back on up. I believe I got audio now. All right, I got video coming through the stream, at least on the cell phone. Oh, that's loud. Actually, that might be my headphones. Mr. Jones, you tell me what you got there. Is it is it too loud? Too low? Get the a good a good grasp of uh, audio. Yeah, that's that's gonna be something I'm gonna go through here in a moment. I wanted to get the prologue through because I know it's got some. It's got some audio, some vocals. But yeah, I am worried that the shooting and explosions might be very loud. Tell me about this, Jason. Dr. Paul Davis. You already know everything. You kidnapped. I am seriously going to look into that audio mixer because with me having one of the windows volume slightly up, I get an echo not only on my voice but on the audio from the game. And that and it is starting to grate on me. A notch too low? All right. It is a it is a low volume scene. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it as it is for now until we get to where we got some shooting and explosions. More worried about it getting too loud than too low. I don't wanna I don't wanna blow anyone's speakers when an inverting, you know shotgun blast or some shit like that. Oh yeah, commercial. Sorry about that. Now oh, you can't hear me at the moment. What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you. You're something else. 
I was going to skip the scene, but my partner in crime, Mr. Jones, is get getting bombarded by a, a Twitch commercial, which you can probably hear on my end. Turn, turn the phone down. Mr. Jones, I don't know if you're back just yet, uh, but when you are, if you could let me know that you're back. As uh, another 27 minutes and 45 seconds until the next commercial break. All right, you're back. That's good. Sorry about that. I'm on uh, when I'm on the OBS screen. I gotta. As much as I hate to want to do this, I'm gonna want to get another computer screen in the living room so I can monitor OBS on one and commercial shit on the other. So now that you're back, what I'm going to do is we're going to skip the rest of this scene and get into some action. Where are we? Why did you wake me? Hang on. Bringing your systems online now. I rewrote your sheet firmware while you were out. You've been busy. Activating the fixed gravity generator. Contact switch generator maintained. Please look up. You need to hold a manual release. There we go. We've got intrusion alerts lighting up on multiple blocks. Our best bet to figure out who's boarding us is the observation deck. Four floors up. All right, shooting doesn't sound too loud. With that on it. Let's see when we get into a firefight. Audio is good still. That's good to hear. Controller's a little rusty. It isn't uh, responding as well as it as it should. Should be able to run into a firefight here eventually. How long was I out? Four years, seven months, ten days. Somebody should have found us by now. What's that? High intensity doesn't match any known pattern. How close are we to the observation deck? It's directly above us. Wow, that's the very been... doors were sealed tight. Be careful. Oh, hey. Audio still good. It it doesn't like you said before. It was a little low before. Okay, it's still perfect. This should get me into a firefight here. Of course, we can just... Uh, 
All right, that's good enough. All right, so the audio has been good. That's a good thing to know. We're going to uh, shut this down. Ooh, that that disk drive is making all kinds of awful sounds. All right, so we're gonna to be on the safe side. We've been lucky so far; haven't crashed anything. I'm going to deactivate the uh, capture card before shutting off the console. All right. So now, the other two systems I have hooked up to this switch box are the original Xbox, the Duke, and my original PlayStation 2. The Duke, yesterday, and I'm checking it now for some reason or another, does not power on at all. So I have a power issue with that. My PlayStation 2 does power up. So we're going to... It, it makes all kinds of crunching sounds, though. We're going to turn it on, and then before I activate the card, I'm going to try to get a video screen... Uh, a screen on my TV. I couldn't do that yesterday. Although it, it comes on, I've got all the lights, but I have no, <clears throat> I had, yesterday I had no video. So. Ooh, that disk drive sounds awful and it doesn't want to stay open yeah all right I've got no video on my TV <laughs> yeah it sounds it is it is that bad uh, not too worried about the ps2 this is just for vanity sake like I said my ps3 will play the PS2 and PS1 games, majority of them. Um, still not getting anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on stereo receiver. Sometimes that boosts a signal or resets something in the TV. And uh, we're going to check again. Well, apparently, my PS2 comes on, but I have no video for it. So we're going to crack that up to a failure. And that'll be something I have to troubleshoot later. All right. So now we're going to go through the systems that I know work. Uh, the first one, let's see what comes up first on my... We're going to turn on the Wii U. screen I'm gonna turn off the stereo as soon as I get every time I turn off the stereo as well my screen my TV screen blacks out as it's resetting itself all right I have a, a video on my TV screen activate the video card or the capture card turn off my game swap ooh this ain't good
All right. We may have a crash. Okay. Deactivate the card. I'm going to turn the stereo back on. Now, I have video on my TV. All right, we're going to activate the video card again, the capture card again. I don't hear no audio. Oh, no, I ain't, I'm not going to hear audio. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, just to check. All right, we have video. Let's deactivate you. Sounds like you're getting audio. Well, I, I do have the uh, Wii U controller right by the headset. I'm going to turn off the stereo real quick. All right, we're going to activate the video card once again. Uh, video card is activated. There is audio coming through. It's pretty low. I gotta, we're going to see if we got... All right, we've got video, we've got sound. I don't think I have any games in this thing right now. Oh, I do have a game in here. That's kind of dangerous. All my screens are matching up. Okay. I thought it got hung up. Let's see how the audio is going. This sounds like it might be a little louder than the last one. How's the audio on your end? It is a little louder? Okay. We'll turn it down just for now. That a little better? This is kind of surreal. I got four screens showing me the, the title page of the Zelda game. A little more? All right. All right. How's that sound? I kind of wish there was a master volume so I could turn everything up and down at once instead of having to balance them, but all right. So the Wii U is good to go. It is streamable besides volume issues, which is for most of the, the working game systems. So what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, I, I I would I would hope so. Um. I'm worried if if it's a software only mixer. Because going into the capture card, it's one HDMI cable. So, unless it can save a profile, when I swap. System, I don't know how it wouldn't even know I swapped systems because it would only see one signal coming from the stereo receiver. But it's something to take a look at. Um, all right, we're gonna black that out and deactivate the card. 
should kill the sound as well, at least for you guys. While that's doing that. And power that down. So the Wii U checks out. Which is good. There's some games I wanted to play on there. Oh. Turn. Okay, I'm still deactivate. Turn the stereo system back on. There is not much left to test. There's a. Uh... Oh, hey, 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 I appreciate you helping me out. Uh, appreciate it a lot. Uh, with the uh, the volume controls and all that, you go ahead and take care of what you got to. I'm glad you I, I'm glad you could help as well. Trust me. Very helpful. Um, you have a nice day and thank you for stopping by once again. Like I said, you you were of tremendous help. Uh, volume is not an easy thing to check in my current setup. But yes, you, you were of great help. Thank you again very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, couldn't have done it without the whole community coming by and showing me some support. Uh, even right now, I got a few, I got three tabs up of uh, folks that are not affiliate. Try to help them out, get their viewership up. Um, but yeah, thank you again for the congratulations. Um, now for me to continue, the next system I am booting up is my Xbox One X. Throw the code in here. Just so I don't out myself. Well, uh. Get a game loaded up first. And while that's doing that, we're going to turn off the stereo system. We're going to activate the video card, or the capture card. Turn off the screen here. Uh oh. Let's deactivate that real quick. Um, I didn't have any video coming through. That's not a good thing. shit all right we're gonna turn on the stereo real quick to see if I'll get a signal boost all right we're gonna bring Video back online. Activate the card. Oh. It looks like something might have crashed. Oh, no, no. I have video. I have video. All right. So we're going to deactivate the card. Turn off the stereo. All right, now that the stereo is off, we're gonna reactivate the capture card. I've got audio already. Take off the game swap screen. I've got audio and video on my end. Game audio seems a little low. Audio 
All right. So, going by how it sounds on my phone, it sounds like the game audio itself is low. So that might be a something else for the mixer program that Mr. Jones recommended. We're not going to change the volume though because it is currently set to I believe it was the Wii that is the loudest or the yeah the Wii is the loudest so we have it set to that so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and kill that turn off that system and we're going to go to the next one Next system we are going to try out is the Xbox Series X. While everything's deactivated. sign into this bad boy what are you talking about oh my goodness okay I messed up the code. Oh, Halo Infinite's doing an update. Do I have any games inside? Oh, you know what? We can just we'll pull up a different game. So, while that game is pulling up, turn off the stereo receiver. This game's probably going to be loud as fuck. No, I don't need... No, jeez. Everything needs a fucking update. All right. We'll get around this by throwing a physical game in here. Hopefully it doesn't need an update. What do I got? There, this is a game that actually is kind of loud. So it should give me some bit of feedback. it's doing that I can actually activate the card take off the game swap screen and I have I have video On the phone, background music sounds low, but let's uh, let's just throw 
quick fight up on here. See how it sounds. I have to check this out when I rewatch the VOD. Okay, so volume, I'm getting volume and uh, I'm getting audio and video, so we are good on that end. So we will kill that. Let's uh, blank out the screen there. Then on the capture device, deactivate. We're going to shut this system off. Probably should have pulled the game out of there, but I can do that later. Um, taking a quick rundown. So far, we've gotten going from left to right here. N64, major issue. Uh, the Wii U works, Xbox One X works, PlayStation works, kind of, Dreamcast works, GameCube works, but has its own issue, uh, Series X, it works, PS5, PS4 are not hooked up through OBS, they go straight to the TV, so they're of no consequence, PS2 has an issue, does not transmit anything similar to the Nintendo 64 both come on no audio no visual to my TV or to uh, OBS PlayStation 3 works which is a good thing I wanted that one so badly uh, the Xbox 360 it works the Xbox original the Duke does not even come on so I have a power issue uh, last but not least is something that is already on. We'll turn on stereo here. And something I will be playing later. I'm actually going to, um, instead of continuing this as one long stream, I'm actually going to end this stream soon enough, an hour and a half. And I'm going to restart another stream playing. Let's see. There it is. Have it come on. Turn off the stereo. We're going to activate the card. I hear audio. Take off the game swap screen. And just as, just as I was getting ready to monitor it, commercial comes on. That's okay. Checking my other screen, I have video. So, we have gone through all the systems currently available or hooked up. Wow, I have three viewers. Uh, I thank you viewers who are, who are there through all the boredom. And the commercial. Nishia. I have no clue who you are. But if you're a bot, I'm going to probably axe you. Waiting for my phone to get off the commercial. So I can verify that it's getting a... It's, uh, 
getting its feed. Anyone watching could probably hear the commercial coming off the phone. Alright. So, phone is back on. Oop, didn't mean to do that. All right. Well, with that being said, I have ran through my full tech demo, found some key issues, audio being my main concern. Um, as far as what I have streaming, uh, to wrap up, I have to turn on the volume on one of my other windows for Twitch to hear any alerts that come through, uh, which gives me an echo. I can't have one without the other, apparently. Let's pause you back on up. And we'll do that. Let's kill that screen there. So I'll need to deactivate the video card. All right. So, yes, I have the, the known audio problem uh, besides fluctuating, fluctuating audio between the game systems themselves. Again, we'll hope the audio mixer software works for that. I have an original Xbox Duke that does not turn on whatsoever. I have a PS2 and a Nintendo 64 which turn on but do not transmit any audio or video to either my TV or to the OBS software. Everything else works. So that grants me one, two, three. Oh, wait, I forgot. GameCube works, transmits audio and video, but it has an internal issue with its drive. I will probably have to crack it open and see about fixing it. Uh, 360 as well has a, uh, a weak motor for its uh, open and closed door. And the PS2, while the door opens, it makes one hell of a loud sound. So that's potentially three systems I have to crack open and do hands-on repair myself. Not looking forward to that. Uh, the 360 will be probably... Actually, no, not the 360. Because the 360 still works, so that's not a priority. The GameCube will be a priority. Because again, like I said, I want to be able to play the Game Boy games through it on stream. Uh, the rest of the GameCube games I can play on my Wii, which is which is fine. So if we count, we're gonna count the GameCube not only as working, but as two systems since it plays Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. So going down, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We are gonna count the PS1 even though it hangs up some. That'll be a low, another low priority fix with the PS3 working. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's recount that. One, two, three. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11 streamable systems through OBS 13 if I count the PS4 and 5 with three systems not cooperating that is my final tally again for those who have come through hanging out appreciate it uh, shouts out to J underscore Jones underscore Mr. Jones for helping me out with my audio that I have done uh at this point, we're going to cut the stream and probably come back in about another 10-15 minutes and do some actual gaming.
Uh, thank you for those who tuned in. Those who watch this later on the VOD. Uh, big homie. Telling y'all guys, you know, be good, stay safe, and peace out.